Good morning and welcome to Craftication Day 4. It's Thursday today and it is 27 minutes past 8 in the morning. Um, I still haven't done the school run but the kids are already in good to go. We've got 15 minutes before we need to leave so I figured hey let's make a start on talking to you guys. So this morning I have all sorts of interesting plans but first things first I'm going to step out into the garden and give you a twirl of my finished so over it wrap dress. So I absolutely love this dress. It was a dream to sew up, really, really easy. It fits really nicely. Um, it is a little bit on the low cut side for me um, and it's potentially a little bit short, uh, but I think with a little cami underneath it and tights, I will get loads of wear out of this particular version. And there are a few tweaks that I can make to the pattern uh, to change it for next time. So I'm not fussed at all. I'm actually going to give this to my mum to try on as well because I think it's something that she will really love. She's been looking for the perfect wrap dress for a long time. So I'll update you more on my plans with this dress when I do the actual video reveal of it. But today, <clears throat> so as I mentioned last night, um, I have sewn all five garments that I had planned for my craftcation and I have another day today. So, in my box of bits that I keep at home was a project that I had cast aside a long time ago out of sheer rage. Now, you may remember I signed up to the Sew Over It trouser online course to make their lovely carry trousers and to then learn how to make alterations and add waistbands, etc. to the ultimate trousers. Well, the carry trousers look lovely, and I printed off the PDF, cut them all out, but when I tried to sew the pockets together, I was having battles with the side seams, and I couldn't work out why. And I unpicked them, and I re-sewed them, and I unpicked them, and I re-sewed them, but it didn't matter what I did, I couldn't get them to lay properly, and so I just got incredibly cross with it and put it away. Well... Upon sewing the marigold, I had a sudden flash of realisation that I knew exactly where I was going wrong. And thankfully, that box of shame lives at home because in there is my carry trousers with all the pieces cut out and overlocked, which my mum has very kindly unpicked again for me so that I can get started again from scratch. So let me show you where I was going wrong. It's so simple that I could absolutely kick myself. So this is the front trouser leg and this is the front pocket, okay? Now on the trouser leg you can see it comes down to here and there's a little point and then it goes down. Now on the pattern piece for the pocket, it's exactly the same. However, because I'd cut it out and overlocked it and I'd just gone all the way down, it's folded over, but I'd lost that little point. And what I'd been doing is when the um, video tells you to sew from the top down, it actually tells you to sew from here to here. But what I'd been doing is sewing from here right down to the bottom of the pocket. Now obviously when that happens, it stops you being able to open it up like so and press it and top stitch it because it's all caught up like this so you get a really ugly bump here. It's so simple, I cannot believe I made such a stupid mistake. So as you probably guessed, this morning is going to be spent sewing up a pair of carry trousers. Now if I have any time left over this afternoon, then I will make a start on filming a couple of those tutorials for you. I've had so many comments overnight, thank you very much, it really does make me feel very loved. You're all enjoying the craftcation videos, which is fantastic, and you've all said yes please, you'd really like to see um, the tutorials. So I'll get those done for you and popped up onto the channel in the next few days. Before I do anything, this little baby's really seen some action over the last few days and is disgusting. Have you seen in there? Look at all this. It's horrible. So I'm going to give her a really good brush out and a clean. I'm going to get the hoover actually and suck out some of this fluff because it's really not fair on her. That is royal. Look at that. Oh. So 
So I've got a fair bit of sewing done. I put the um, trousers together and I thought I would just try them on um, before I put the waistband or anything in because with the marigold trousers, what I discovered is that I've got a really big calf muscle on the back of my leg. Um, I struggle with like knee high boots or anything like that. And the marigold trousers felt really, really tight around my lower leg. Um, unfortunately, because I had made them on the serger, I couldn't unpick them. There was no leeway um, to let them out. So they'll have to stay that way. But I thought I'd better check because these carry trousers look really very similar. And I tried them on and sure enough they were really tight on my calf muscle. Um, so what I'm doing is just unpicking those side seams up to the knee. Um, on both sides of the trousers I'm going to let out the inner seam and the outer seam and I'm just going to grade it from the 5 eighths at the knee just a quarter of an inch down to the ankle just to give me a little bit more leeway for that ridiculous calf muscle. Now, unfortunately, this fabric is really, really, really fragile. So I can't just go up with the seam ripper. I'm having to take each stitch out individually. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna end up with holes in my trousers, which I really, really don't want. Okay, guys, so we're now going to do the waistband. So I've got my front waistband piece and my side back waistband piece, which is longer. I've already put my interfacing on the front waistband piece, so that's ready to go. And the first stage is we're going to join these so that they're in one continuous waistband piece. Little tip for you when you're using um, wide elastic is to also for a two inch wide elastic to fit in this casing here. Um, I've obviously turned my fabric under a tiny bit too much, so I found that my elastic um, was just literally a smidgen too wide to go in this casing. So, a little tip for you. Just to the tiniest little bit from one edge, check to see if it fits. And if it still doesn't, you can cut off a sliver from the other edge. But you do need to see this on the overlooker, otherwise, all your elastic's going to run rather than inside your casting. But just a little tip for you. So the carry trousers are finished, and I can safely say that I have mastered the pocket. Time to give you a twirl. a success I'll tell you more about them when I do um, my pattern review because there's things I like about them things I don't like about them no fault of the pattern just personal preference um, yeah I'm not sure that I'll make another pair I might do I'll tell you more about them as I say when I do my full pattern review but it's only midday I've got three hours until I need to pick the children up so I think I might tidy up all the sewing I think I'm done with sewing for now um, and I might have a little look at a crochet project that I've got in mind. So I'm going to have a little go at making one of these little sombrero hats. I don't know if you can see that. Quite cute. This is a pattern by um, Repeat Craft to Me. Um, and my mum sent it to me. She thought it looked really, really sweet as a nice little... Um, Lesson that we could do to teach the basics of amigurumi. I haven't got any cream yarn, so I've just raided my stash and I'm just using some of these Stylecraft DKs that I had in my stash at home. So let's see how I go. <laughs> This is what yarn management nightmares are made of, but um, on the plus side, I'm loving how my nails match my work. All done. One little Mexican sombrero. <laughs> 
I'm not really sure what I think about it to be honest. Um, I'll probably show it on the podcast at some point um, when I record next week. Um, tell you a little bit about my thoughts on the pattern. Um, but yeah, it was nice, fun just to spend 20 minutes or so crocheting again. So that's it now for my craftcation. It is half past one. There is no point starting anything else now. I've only got an hour and a half to go until I pick the kids up. Um, I've really, really, really enjoyed the last four days. I feel that it's completely reignited my sewing um, enthusiasm again. Um, I know it's been really nice with you guys following along with me too. Um, all of your comments have been fantastic. Um, and it's nice that I've inspired some of you to get sewing again. Um, so lots and lots of really good feedback. So I will be doing another craftcation. I've got slightly different plans for the next one. Um, it's going to be in September and I've actually booked three nights or four nights away in three days um, in a little residential, I believe it's like a little cottage or a house. Um, Elspeth sorted it all out. Um, and we're going together. But I am going to be on a complete and utter digital detox while I'm there. So I'm allowed to video, um, I'm allowed to take photographs, but I'm not allowed on the internet, I am not allowed on social media, um, and I'm having a complete digital detox, so watch this space. I'm not sure what I'm going to make and do while I'm there, we're going to visit some places, we're going to make some stuff, we're going to read some books, um, but all in all, um, that will be my next vacation and that's in September. So I'm going to go and edit this vlog now, get it uploaded. My battery light's flashing furiously at me. Um, so I think that is time for me to say bye-bye and thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.